Lords, 48th Annual Paso. Sunday, April 9th at sundown. $100 per person or $100 per family. Drive a community center. Co-op City, the Boogie Down Bronx, New York. 177, Drives a Loop, Bronx, New York. 10475. $100 per person or per family. Send your funds in today. No excuse. Down from $150 thanks to Commander General Yahana. He pay your way, pay for somebody else's. Send in your funds today. No excuses. You got a question? Yeah. What's your question? How are you supposed to get that? How do we suppose that we're going to get the kingdom of heaven? Well, white people are in slavery and black people are in charge. How are you going to get nuclear weapons? We don't have to have nuclear weapons. Oh, you got allies have. The, the enemies of the white man have nuclear yeah, weapons. Right. And they're going to yeah. destroy the white man with those nuclear weapons. You understand? Only the white man. Only the white man. Yeah, and if you join with the white man, then you're gonna die with the white man. You ever heard that before? Yes, you understand? How are you gonna eliminate, how are you gonna say, how are you gonna, listen, plan ahead? We are planning ahead. We gathering together as a nation of people, and you trying to divide us. No. That's what your goal is, okay? No. Yes, no. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know you but guess what? Give me Isaiah 14 and 21. Give me Isaiah 14. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's what I want. I want that one and the other one. Where you running to, Mr. White Man? You understand? Run to the bunker. I got a bunker buster for you right here in the scripture. Find me in scripture right quick. You understand? Jeremiah 16 and 16, I believe. We got, we got your bunker, Mr. White Man. We're going to show you right now how we're going to find you, Mr. White Man. Jesus Christ is going to find you, Mr. White Man. You can go under the water. You can go deep down in the earth and try to hide. You can go to outer space, Mr. White Man. But Jesus Christ, a black man, we are going to find you and the angels. You understand? The 144,000 is going to take the kingdom, Mr. White Man. All right? Jeremiah 16 and 16. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send many fishers. You understand? The Lord is sending for fishers right now, Mr. White Man. We are fishing back here. You don't have to worry about us Negroes over here. We ain't here to hurt ya. You understand? We here to fix black people. Read. Said the Lord, I just shall fish them. And after I will send my many hunters. Oh my goodness, but after we, he's going to send for many hunters. The Most High is going to send for hunters. You understand? When you go hunting, Mr. White Man, I know you know that you go and you get your gun, you understand, and you put your, your boots on, you put your camouflage on, Mr. White Man, that's how you go hunting, and you bring something back after you shoot him in the head. But, we, but what? And I will send for many hunters. The Lord is sending for many hunters for the white man. Right. You're going to be the damn... Pray in a second, Mr. White Man. You done made us to pray for 400 years. Put crack in our goddamn neighborhoods. Yes, you did, Mr. White Man. Ronald Reagan, you Republicans, or what have you. You can't be trusted. What? You devils. Read on. And they shall hunt them. And they shall do what? Hunt them. We're going to hunt who? Hunt them. We're going to hunt the so-called white man. You understand? Though you got a bunker, Mr. White Man, we are going to hunt you. Read on. From every mountain. From every mountain. You can go up in the mountains and hide, Mr. White Man. Read. And from every hill. And from every hill. You can run and hide, Mr. White Man, but you won't get away in that day. You understand? You cause nuclear warfare to happen on the earth, and you try to get away with it and try to kill everybody so that you can come out on top. Guess what? It's going to be black people left. We like the, the roaches that, that don't get caught up with the damn nuclear fire that's coming. You understand? We're going to get caught up in heaven with Jesus Christ when he come with the damn UFOs, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord. You ain't know that UFOs was in the Bible because your pastor's an idiot. Okay? You understand? Guess what? We're going to hunt you from the cliffs 
and the mountains and the hills, Mr. White Man, because the Lord is going to send for many hunters. He's sending for fishers right now, and that's what we're doing. You understand? We're building a nation back here, just in case you didn't understand what the hell you were supposed to be doing when Donald Trump is making white people great again by putting you in slavery again. You didn't understand it, huh? Read. And out of the holes of the rock. And out of the what? Holes of the rock. White right, man just came up here and said that he got a bunker. His people got a bunker. You understand? He got a mile long bunker that he gonna hide when thermonuclear warfare come to America. But guess what? Read it again. And out of the holes of the rocks. You understand? We are gonna hunt you from out of the holes in the rocks that you are gonna hide in once you cause this damn disaster to come on the earth. Mr. White Man, right. you can't get away from judgment. Right. We're going to put you in goddamn slavery, yeah. Mr. White Man, because that's what you deserve. Read on. Verse 18, verse 17, for my eyes are upon all the ways. The Lord's eyes are upon all of the stinking, filthy white man's ways. You might can hide from us, but you can't hide from the most high. That's he right. sees your dirt, Mr. White Man. Right. He sees what you've been doing. That's it's right. coming out all the goddamn time how you've been a damn devil on the face of the earth. Right. You ain't good for nothing, That's Mr. White Man. Right. The Bible is the proof. Don't look surprised. Right. You better wake the hell up, Grandma. Yeah. All right? Read. <laughs> they are not hidden right. from my face. Read it again. They are not hidden. You ain't hid from the face of, of, of the Most High. You ain't hid. You think you're doing things in secret against us, the children of Israel, that you didn't have slavery for 400 years. Yes. Okay, Mr. White Man, the game is over. Yes. You understand? You didn't kill the spirit out of all of the damn Nat Turners in the earth, That's except right. we got the plan. Vengeance is mine, thus yes. saith the Lord. Right. You understand? We ain't gonna take vengeance on your behind yes. until Jesus Christ a black man from the tribe of Judah comes and busts your behind, okay? With the angels, the holy angels. Read on. Neither is your iniquity hidden from my eyes. Neither is your iniquity, your sins, your rape, robbery, and murder that you have done for the last 400 years is hid from the most high's eyes. He sees what you're doing to his children. You're going to pay for what you have done to our cho his children. You understand? You didn't touch the apple of the Most High's eye. You understand? When you dealt with us, unlike any other nation has ever dealt with us, you are a total monster, and you hold yourself not guilty. That's, right. That's what the goddamn problem is. Oh no, you, you are going against God. You understand? You're the only one that has come up against anybody. So what, did, what did black people do? What did black people do to white people in order for you to put us in slavery for 400 years? What did we do to you when you put us into slavery for 400 years? Listen, guess what? The Bible, I'm reading out of the Bible. This is protected speech. This is protected speech. Didn't they, didn't, didn't, they, didn't they swear in Donald Trump on the Bible? You ain't even supposed to swear on the Bible, but you devil don't do nothing to the Bible saying. Well, God damn it, you've been murdering since you came out the womb. This country was founded off the slavery of the so-called Negro, the so-called West Indian. You devils are going to pay for the crimes that you've done to these people. You understand? You're going to pay for the crimes you've committed against God's chosen people. You're going into slavery, Mr. White Man. You understand? I'm going to have you picking cotton. You understand? Oh, in your wheelchair. Yeah. Okay? That's what you're going to be doing. Okay? And I'm going to be sipping my lemonade on the damn porch. Okay? Yeah. Listen, guess what, Mr. White Man? You started this war. We're going to finish it. Okay? Read on. The white man is always the goddamn devil on the face of the earth. Come on, white man, wheel yourself back here, please. You, 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 you listen. Let me ask you something. You said, you said, you said, you said something. My wife is a federal agent. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Your wife is a federal criminal. That's good. Listen, I don't care about your wife and federal this and federal that. You said that we are promoting racism. That's what you said. 
Who? Who? You guys are condemning white people. Say that what does me. condemn mean? You're saying that. What does condemn mean? You're saying that God is going to look down on all white people. Did I say? Did I say that, or did the Bible say it? Do you agree that the Bible is God's word? Do you agree? Bible does not. Let me say Do you agree the Bible is God's words? Come on. The Bible nowhere. Uh huh. Anywhere. Go ahead. Any I know you know you know you know I don't care what doctorate degree you have. Why are you? Why are you? Why white people always like to hold their qualifications and your jobs over people? Let's talk about real tangible stuff. Your bachelors can't make you walk. Your masters can't make you walk. Your diplomas can't make you walk. So let's not talk about education. Let's talk about real life living conditions. Let's talk about real slavery and real oppression that your people have done to us. And you're mad because I talk about it. You're mad because I say something about it. But you ain't go roll up in front of Trump when he said build a wall. You didn't go roll in front of Trump when he said the Mexicans is bad essays. You didn't do none of that. You didn't do nothing when Trump said, let's make it, let's make America great again. And in the old days, we would have carried him out with a stretcher. But you want to tell me about racism. You white people are disgusting, man. You're disgusting like the day is old. You are them white cockroach. You are vermin. You are virus and a cancer. That's why God sits you behind a goddamn wheelchair. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I'm believing fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword